One year ago today, 130 people were killed in a wave of terror attacks across Paris. More than 300 were injured. ISIS claimed responsibility. Seven of the nine attackers were killed by police or blew themselves up. Two others were killed the following week. Charlie Daggett shows us how Paris is still healing. Plaques now stand where so many victims fell. They write out the names of each person whose life came to an end, all 130. French President Francois Hollande visited the sites of all six attacks. Marking that night in Paris, when ISIS brought its brutal campaign of violence from the battlefield to the streets of the French capital. They struck the national stadium, restaurants and bars. The worst of the attacks unfolded here inside the Bataclan Theater, where three terrorists in suicide vests burst into a packed concert and opened fire on the crowd. In all, 90 people were killed in the rampage. The last sounds to ring out from the theater were gunshots, screaming, and explosions. Its doors have been shut ever since. But on Saturday night, Sting brought the concert hall back to life. Hello. He told concert goers, we shall not forget them before marking a minute of silence. Just cast away. Among the audience, those who survived and loved ones of those who did not. Bataclan survivor Artur De Nuvo couldn't bring himself to go. What is your enduring memory of that night? It's, I, I was in the pit at the Bataclan and I was just, everyone fell on top of each other and that was just one big body, you know, you could not really move, you were trapped by other people, that was just that big pile of people. And you remember it like it was yesterday? Oh yeah, definitely. Nine of the known main attackers either died that night or in the days following. One that got away, Salah Abdeslam, was later arrested. He's in custody but refusing to talk. De Nuvo told us he refuses to be angry at the attackers. He said that would make them human. Will you ever be yourself again? Not the same, but I think not necessarily someone weaker or worse or anything. But no, we'll, we will all be different. That's something that changes the course of your life, definitely. Hundreds of survivors are still recovering from the physical and psychological trauma. Some are still in the hospital. Dozens of children will grow up without one or both of their parents. Elaine, there are some wounds that time will never heal. Charlie Daggett, thank you.